Welcome back, everybody. If you've just tuned in, you are still watching The Be Bold Show. We went to Canada and now we're back. We've moved away from that. We're in the world of technology. Now, who thinks that when we look at technology, when we think of Ghanaians, that we're content consumers and not producers? Well, if you think that, I'm about to prove you wrong because we have a very inspirational guy, Randolph Owusu, who just blows our mind away. When it comes to technology, this guy is a step ahead of everyone. Let's take a look at his story. My name is Wendell Fowusu. I'm a second year student at Methodist University and I develop softwares that use the African setting. I developed Oasis Websoft with a sense that I wanted to disrupt the technology industry. Because as of now, when you look at the software field, Africa is not really on the map when it comes to software. What inspired me is what is really going on in the tech industry right now. Because there's so much going on, but Africa is being left out. So I decided to develop a company that I'll be able to build web and software that will make so many of the things we do difficult very easy. I'm able to manage my time because I scale my time. I know when it's to study and when I'm supposed to, um, to develop softwares. Yeah. So I scale my time mostly and I cut down the number of hours I sleep too. So I develop softwares and at the same time I go to school. So it's a good thing. You know, one thing that happens in the technology field is when the the people in America, they build their software, they build it to suit their situation. So Africans, we should be able to build things that suit our problems and our situations here. And the internet itself is one big problem. When you, you're browsing, it's not that smooth, so sometimes you have to wait till it's done before you can get smooth browsing. So I decided to build a browser that would have offline features that can make the browsing experience interesting, even if the internet is not so good. So I have embedded a download manager that helps you to accelerate the speed at which you download your files. And also there's a camera that you don't need to pay for bandwidth when you're online to stream a camera. So that's what the browser is all about. And I released the beta version in February and so far we've had like a thousand downloads. And that is just the beta version. So there's still more to come hopefully once the full version is out. Go to my website oasiswebsoft.com yeah or you can just google oasis websoft and it'll give you all the links to all my social channels it's free there for you to download what are the challenges and struggles you face um maintaining such a software as oasis as well as anansi since it's the first of its kind in africa and in ghana basically funding your projects putting it online for people to download and funding your project with getting the right resources is very difficult, so I don't have any investments. I invest in my own projects I do with the little money I make from websites I design for people and basic softwares I design to help people with their projects. So funding is one huge problem. And the other problem is getting the right technical people to help you out. But it may seem I know everything, but basically I'm, I'm just learning. I'm learning each and every day. I tend to learn something new on the internet. So it would be best if I could have somebody who really is into the food can help me out with these things I do. And school is also it's really helping me out what I do. So school is making my work easy because it would have been difficult if I wasn't in the university, but the university is also helping me out what I do. How do you make a profit? How do I make my profit? Um, with the softwares, they are free, basically. I believe in free and open source software. So the softwares that are out there are for free. So the way I'm going to make my money is a sort of business model open source developers use in a sense that when you want to customize my software then you'd have to pay a little bit or you need some technical support to the ones out there then you have to pay a little bit for it. Where do you see Oasis in the next five years or so? Yeah, it's going to be a really huge technology company that will really suit our problems because as of now, we have so many projects, students in school that they don't make it for lectures and all they do, they need to get slides. So if there's basic applications that can make all this easy, you can be at home and you can even have the same learning experience as somebody who is in the school. So yeah, in a few years, this is going to solve a lot of problems that is in our setting here in Africa. 
So I hope to see Oasis there. And with the speed at which I'm working, I'm sure in less than two years we'll get there. Yeah, so this is the Ananto web browser. You can get it completely for free on my website once you download it. And these are some of the offline features you can get. That is the web camera and also a web download manager that can make your download experience very fast, even if you have a slow internet. So this is the Ananto download manager. And also this is Ananto calc pad. This is a calculator that allows you to have a story pad view and the calculator view that you can do everything and with the things you do you can have lines of whatever you do so you can keep them updated hello my name is Randolph Owusu I'm a software developer and my advice to the youth is you stay focused you find your dream be it music software development or coding and go get it don't let any dream killer kill your dream and remember whatever you do you'll be strong and you'll be bold And this is a Ghanaian web developer. Definitely a Ghanaian web developer. And wow. I mean, just like you have Explorer and you have Chrome, mm -hmm. Google Chrome and stuff, he has created his own Anansi yeah, web. Like a web browser. Fantastic. And then what exactly happens within the web browser? Why is it so different? Well, normally with Explorer, you know, you can just browse the web and so forth. But then the thing is, you, let's say you have to have your own video yeah. or you can have your own downloader. You download it from somewhere else. But in his case, he's incorporated all those features in his. So while you're browsing, you can be video chatting or video Like whatever. downloading a you song. You can download a song or... wherever it's allowed. So that's completely new and phenom like it's phenomenal. Probably for people that aren't exactly aware of how to get all those download features yeah. and stuff. You can just it's go hard. to Anansi yeah. and you get it. So guys, go on to oasiswebsoft.com. If you don't get this, get onto our website, you'll find it. And download the web browser. I mean, it is completely and utterly free for you to download. And it is for Ghanaians, by Ghanaians. And everything, that's, it's fantastic. That's what we both stands for. And so. one thing I must add too is that he started all of this from his very own pocket. And we all know it's very difficult to work and do this at the same time to really try and make it. So props to him, I'm, he's a big boulder. Well, we'll be back in a jiffy.